Hi, Pre-K friends. Welcome back to another beautiful day. I hope you're all doing well. I love you and miss you and can't wait to get started. So here we go. Hello, everybody. What do you say? Hello, everybody. What do you say? It's going to be a happy day. It's going to be a happy day. So clap your hands and stomp your feet and wiggle your fingers and try to catch my beat. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, try again. Okay, I'm gonna try and trick you. Try to catch your beat. And remember, if you don't have a drum, that's a-okay. You can use your lap, or you can use your shoulders, or you can try to catch it with your hands, okay? Try to catch that beat. I'm gonna try and trick you, okay? Did you catch it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. You caught it? Nice. All right, you wanna do one more? Okay, and then we'll freestyle and you can do it any way you like. Okay, here we go. Let's try and catch your beat, okay? Any way you like. Here we go, let's catch your beat. <laughs> okay, friends. All right, so let's slow it down. Let's try to catch the slow beat. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready to go as fast as you can with any beat you want? Okay, as fast and as loud as you want. Here we go. <laughs> Keep going. Ah, okay, all right, let's take a nice deep breath. Exhale, one more deep breath. Exhale, okay. So our story for today is if rocks could sing, oh my goodness, what would we do if rocks could sing? <laughs> A Discovered Alphabet by Leslie McGurk. Look at that one singing, la, la, la. <laughs> and I know we've done this alphabet book before, but I love it so much. And since we read this story about rocks yesterday, I thought today would be great to carry on and read this story about these alphabets rocks. And it's pretty cool. The um, author actually found all these on the coast of Florida. So it's pretty cool. I'll read a little bit about her after the story. So here we go. If rocks could sing. <laughs> if rocks could sing. <laughs> Look at that one. La la la. 
What would your rock sing if it could sing anything? <laughs> A. A is for addition. Kind of like our addition stories. What addition story could you come up with using 1 plus 8 equals 9? I have one. I went for a walk and I had one rock in my pocket. And I continued to walk up the hill and I found eight more rocks and put them in my pocket. At the end of my walk, how many rocks did I have in all? One plus eight is nine. I had nine rocks in my pocket altogether. <laughs> Do you think you can come up with an addition story using rocks? Try it out after our story. B is for bird. C is for couch potato. I'll have to admit, sometimes I like being a couch potato. What do you guys like to watch on TV? You guys like to be couch potato sometimes? Just sit back, relax, watch a movie. We watched The Willoughbys the other day, and it was so funny. It's on Netflix. Check it out. So silly. C is for couch potato. D is for dog. Ruff, ruff. Look at that cutie. E is for elephant. Do you see it? Do you see his trunk? Do you see his ear? Yeah. <laughs> I see his little eye too. F is for footprint. Look at that footprint. <laughs> G is for ghosts. Ooh, it's kind of spooky. <laughs> H is for holes. Look at all these holes in these rocks. Daniel likes to find these rocks with holes in them, and he likes to put um, string through them and make necklaces out of them. I think I showed it to you guys a few weeks back. It's kind of fun. <laughs> they make nice necklaces. H is for holes. Hmm, how many holes are in this rock? Want to count them? Okay. One, two, three. Three. How about on this rock? We have just one really big one. How about over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and eleven. I guess if you keep looking closer and closer, there's billions of holes in those rocks, huh? I is for igloo. See that little igloo? J is for joy. Don't they look so joyful and happy together? You see their smiles? J is for joy. What brings you joy? K is for kick. You see that foot? Kick that ball. K is for kick. L is for lemon. Well, I sure got a lot of lemons, remember? Lemon. Maybe I need to make some lemonade. They're getting kind of rough looking. Add some sugar, stir it up. I think that's what we're going to do after this. Make some lemonade. M is for mitten. N is for nose. Look at that nosy. That's a cute nose. O is for ouch. Boink. He just looked like he fell down, hurt himself, huh? Boink. Ouch. P is for penguin. Look at that cute little penguin. Q is for question mark. R is for rabbit. S is for seahorse. See that seahorse? T is for toast. Oh, I wouldn't eat that toast. Well, maybe if you put butter on it. Just kidding. <laughs> U is for up. You see that little guy going up on a seesaw? V is for Valentine's. <gasps> I'm dying right now. Look at all these heart-shaped rocks. Ah! Let's count them. I think it's more than I have. Let's start over here. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 heart-shaped rocks. Oh my gosh. I'm a little jelly right now. So cool. So beautiful. Oh, one of my favorite animals. W is for whale. Look at that whale. X is for XOXO. -X -O. You know what that symbolizes? Kisses and hugs. An X is a kiss and an O is a hug. Can you see two people giving a little smooch? Mwah! <laughs> see their heads and their arms? They're embracing and giving each other a nice warm hug and kiss. Make sure you give your family lots of hugs and kisses today. I bet they would love that. Y is for yawn. <sighs> Z is for zero. <laughs> rock talk. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This is the author. And she found all these rocks on the coast of Florida. Isn't that great? Yeah, she loves to spend her time searching on the beach and look for seashells and the rocks to make up this book. You see them? I'll show you a little closer. What a fun idea. So friends, oh, here's the alphabet again. So friends, if you have any rocks laying around or on your nature rock walk today, um, pick some up, see what you can do, see what you can turn them into. You know, the sky's the limit. I'm looking at this little guy right here. And I'm thinking I could probably turn him into maybe a duck. I'm looking and I'm thinking it could be a duck. What do you think? Look closely. Hmm. He may not look much like a duck right now, but what if I took a marker? Let's see. What if I turn this into his beak? And then maybe made this more of his neck. Outlined it more. What do you think, friends? <laughs> Does he look like a little duck? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> or more like a pigeon? I don't know. You tell me. Pigeon or a, a pigeon or a duck? <laughs> so on your walk today, see if you can find a few rocks. And be creative and imagine what it could be. The, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> okay. Well, I love you all and I wish you well. Have a good day. Bye.